Good morning, everyone. It's Kelly here. And today we're going to learn about how to care for pets. And so you'll see that I brought my cat Jet here. And so um, Jet has a brother named Blazer. But for those who have cats know that it's really difficult to get our cats to do anything that we want them to do. Um, so I was able to show you guys Jet today, but Blazer is somewhere around the house. So we know that not everybody has pets, but for those who do, and those who maybe want pets in the future, or you know, we all know somebody that has a pet, it's important to know how to care for the pet. And so we figured we would start the day off by going through some different types of common pets that people have. So you know, you guys saw my cat that I just had. Um, lots of people have fish, dogs, maybe rabbits, lizards, snakes, um, birds, hamsters, guinea pigs, turtles. I mean, the list could go on and on, right? So it's important to know what kinds of supplies that you need when you have a pet. And so we all know that we're not going to need the same supplies for each pet. So, you know, I have a cat and my cat isn't going to need a leash, right? Um, even though when they were little, I did <laughs> bring my cats outside on leashes. But, you know, if you have... Um, a cat, you're not going to need a fish tank, right? Um, or if you have um, a turtle, you're not going to need a scratching post, right? So it's really important to be able to know the types of supplies that you need for each pet that you have. So common things that people need for their pets are food, they need water, um, bowls, you know, beds, toys. I brought some my cat supplies here. So you guys will see my scratching post there, which is a toy that my cats like to use. And you can see the duct tape on it because they've really done a number on that scratching post. For food, you can see that I have some wet food. I usually put it in their um, bowl right here. I have some treats for them for when they're good. Um, I have another bowl for some water for them. I have a uh, brush to be able to brush their fur, which they usually like. You can see Jet there kind of taking a look at why all his things are over here. We've got the dry food can, and then I do have a bowl for the dry food too. So a litter box is also another really important thing for cats, as you guys might know. And so I have the litter box as well. And so, you know, those are all supplies and things that I need to take care of each and every month. And so as we've talked about in the past with budgeting, it's important to know um, the amount of money that we're going to spend on things and be able to account for that in our budget. Um, and this, this is especially important if you want to buy a pet in the future um, so that you can make sure that you have enough money in your budget to account for not just the cost of the pet, um, but also the supplies that are needed each month for the pet. Now, we um, created a checklist that we provided you guys with that can be like a helpful reminder as you take care of your pet and remember the things that need to be done. Um, we give you an example of like a dog checklist if you have a dog, but if you have another pet, there's going to be different responsibilities of things that you need to do. So you can take a look at that and make it specific for each pet that you have. Now, another important component of having a pet is to make sure that you're bringing the pet to the veterinarian. And so a veterinarian is a doctor who specializes in the medical needs of animals. And so not all pets need to go to the vet, right? We're not going to bring our fish to the vet, but our cats definitely and our dogs and um, pets often need, um, you know, rabies vaccines or um, other shots, either on a yearly or maybe couple year basis. So it's important to be keeping up with those as well. And then it's also important to make sure that we're following through on any recommendations that the doctor makes. So I know when I brought my cat to the vet, the doctor said that he was gaining a bit too much weight and that it could you know, risk him maybe getting diabetes in the future. So the doctor recommended that I cut down on his food and so not just leave like tons of food out for him all the time, but maybe do like a cup of food each day to make sure that he's not getting too much. So it's really important to make sure that we're following through on any recommendations that the veterinarian makes for our pets. And so, um, you know, pets are a lot of work, right? I mean, it's, it's another life that we're taking care of. I remember when I got my two cats, um, 
it was almost a little overwhelming to think about how I was responsible for their lives, right? And so it's important that if we are wanting to get a pet in the future, that we talk to all of our household members about um, this decision because it's going to affect them too. And then it's also important to identify people in our lives who can help us to care for the pets, whether it's our family members, our provider, staff, you know, people who can help us maybe pick up pet supplies or who can help us bring the pet to the vet. So it's really important to be able to identify people who can help us in those instances. And then um, it's, it's just also important to um, just highlight how great pets are, right? You know, even if we can't have our own pets, you know, and we can see other people's pets, um, you know, we all know that sometimes just petting an animal can just be so calming, right? Or, you know, times when we've had maybe an animal come by the center or something, you know, it's just, it makes you feel lighter and happy, right? And so um, we just want to highlight that, you know, pets are really a wonderful thing. And even if you can't have a pet, you know, you can still take joy in seeing, you know, um, pets of those around us. And, you know, when I was younger and my family didn't want me <laughs> to get a dog yet because they weren't ready to get a dog, I would often go to the pet store, you know, and, and see dogs there. And, you know, it just made me happy to we'll see the dogs and pet them. And um, so there's tons of ways that you can interact with animals, even if you can't have your own. So we hope you guys find the activities that we posted today to be fun and helpful. We hope you all enjoy either taking care of your own pets, getting ready to take care of a pet, or even just enjoying um, the pets of those around us. And um, we hope to see you guys on the Zoom calls later where you can bring your pets on if you have some, or even a picture of a pet that uh, you would like to have one day. So I'll see you guys soon and have a great day.